Good morning. Today we are thrifting at a new to us thrift store, Foster Thrift in Kennewick, Washington. And as you can see, this store recently opened this year. It is bright and beautiful and was lots of fun to shop. So I kind of just picked around at first looking at some of the t-shirts. I'm going to show you some of my finds and then we'll move through the other sections of the store. I love this salty t-shirt. I have seen this for sale. It's like popped up in Instagram ads or something and it's that Morton Salt girl. Thought it was super fun. This shirt has a really cool pattern. The size was just way too uh, small for what I would like, but definitely a really interesting all over print on that one, but I ended up leaving it behind. And you can see the pricing is around $5 per top, which is pretty average thrift store pricing. Up front they have this rack with some jackets on it and I started to notice there was also a lot of vintage and new with tags pieces on here too. This vintage Sears sweater. I love the checker knit in, inside of it that uh, I thought was super cute. Wasn't 100% on the color, but we're gonna try it. Check out this Pink Floyd jacket. That's super cool. I couldn't tell if this was like quite old, if it was like maybe Y2K type of vintage, but uh, 44 bucks for that, which is a really good vintage price. A cute little Mickey flannel. I have never seen a piece quite like this, so that was interesting to me. I love a good vintage cotton knit. I also love a good vintage crew neck, this really nice Oregon one. A couple of cool pattern jackets in here. There's just so many good pieces right on this first rack up front. I'm, I'm getting really excited to start browsing around the rest of the store just based on what I'm seeing here. This is like a really nice quality vintage cardigan with an applique on it. I thought that was super cute. I'm just not wearing a lot of longer cut cardigans these days. And I also was being particular about jackets because once again, I'm on this trip. I got to bring everything back in a suitcase. So bulkier items are tougher for me to personally pick up. But again, really great selection. If you wanted to come pick up a vintage leather jacket like this one, you could get a really good price on a cool vintage piece here. I do have a fitting room. Oh, look how cute it is. And then we're going to take a look in this section, which is actually their more curated vintage and retro pieces, and also some pieces that are just like new with tags or a little bit nicer. They've pulled those all to the side in a really nice display. It makes it easy. It's one of those places where if you don't have a ton of time to thrift, you could pop in there, see what the best vintage pieces are that they've pulled and find some real gems. Um, the price point could be a little bit higher than a typical thrift, but much lower than an average vintage shop. So you can find some really good deals in there, like these uh, vintage Roper boots, which I believe were about 20 or $25. You know, I'm a sucker for vintage tees. I'm always on the lookout. So got to take a look at the ones they've pulled here. Love the classic Richland Bombers logos. And some of these were like fun event tees from Washington State, which is where I grew up. So Bloom's Day, for example, is something that's like very nostalgic to me, even though it's still an ongoing event. It's something I grew up with. And so I love seeing the old 80s Bloom's Day t-shirts. I also love a more obscure uh, vintage t-shirt when I don't know quite what it means. I feel like it's a good style challenge because if you style it properly, it can add so much to an outfit. It can look really cool, like very lived in and just something nobody else is going to have. Now this t-shirt is an example of one of the retro pieces they had tagged vintage. So my suggestion is as you're looking through, maybe familiarize yourself a little bit with the difference between vintage and retro pieces, uh, because that will help you understand like the value of the pieces that you're picking up in the shop. Sometimes uh, thrift stores in particular will use the two terms interchangeably, but something that's true vintage is 20 years and older, and it would typically carry more value than a retro piece, which is something that's just made to look in an older style. 
This plissé top, I actually owned that at one point and had sold it in my shop. I love tops like that from the 90s. So many good prints in this section, lots of fun blouses and good quality pieces. Here's one that's a uh, dead stock, new with tags still. Really nice quality piece, fun primary colors. You know, I'm in love with that. I love the dagger collar on this. It's definitely a vintage style that you don't see anymore and a brown polka dot is really cool to me but that was the wrong size so I left it. This also would be a fun place to find a vintage dress for a, a special event or like a school dance if you were local to the area. They had some really cute 90s ones too like this floral. I love this. Extremely wearable rayon. Really pretty dark floral that would transition nicely into fall with some layering. This is such a gorgeous dress to me, but not the right size, so another one I had to leave. Here we go, I finally found something for me in this section. This little romper definitely caught my eye. Just a really fun colorway, definitely unlike anything in my closet. Very 90s vibes and I just could start to see the styling potential so I picked that one up to try it on later. This one I believe is a modern piece but a really cute style so they had pulled it over into this section into sort of the boutique section. I love the tiers on it, a really nice cut. It would be a great summer dress for sure. Cute little sequin mini dress. That one's in like beautiful condition too. So again, great place to come and pick up an, a dress for an event. All right, let's keep moving around the store. There's still so much to see. I'm gonna take a look in the bottoms next. We'll start in the pants and then move over to the skirts and just take a quick look at the types of pieces that they have. I'm definitely drawn to like flowier pants with less structure and really great patterns. I think that they're just so fun to style with graphic tees, of course. And then I'll be thinking about like sweater and turtle neck layers as we get closer into fall. So I'm pulling out basically the patterns that catch my eye in this section. And uh, there's some, some good options here of all different eras, but a lot of modern pieces for sure. And then just to show you a nice piece with a little more variety here, just these kind of sage green pants would make a really amazing basic and go with anything in your closet. $4.99 for those, which is a pretty good buy. And now let's take a look in the skirts. Everything is organized by size in this store. I tend to like to look through every size in a thrift store because you never know when other shoppers could put something back in the wrong size section or things could be tagged a different size than you would normally wear but it would still fit you. So again, I always bring measuring tape and I'll just take quick measurements if I'm not sure about something. And as you saw, they do have a fitting room here so we're also gonna jump in there for anything that we wanna try.
I did find this faux leather skirt in a really cool oxblood color. Getting another like leather or faux leather skirt has been on my wish list for fall, especially in a great color. This one's still new with tags and it says it's plus size. So I'm definitely gonna snag this one to try in the fitting room. Okay, let's take a look at the rest of the women's tops. There's a few racks here for us to dig through. Just pulled out a really sweet Western pearl snap with the tag still attached, okay. Look at this fun denim embroidery. It had like a sort of like a biblical verse on it type of thing which I thought was super cute. I feel like someone could rock that, honestly. Gotta love the sequins, vintage sequin top here. That one's gorgeous, and it looks like it is a good plus size too. So as you can see, there are still vintage pieces to be found mixed in with the, the main part of the store. It's not all pulled over to the side right now, which I personally love. I don't know, there's just something so fun to me about me being the one to find a piece of vintage in a thrift store instead of just going over to a rack. Although I kind of love when you have both options available because it kind of works for everybody. I thought this top was really nice and as I felt the material I realized it was probably silk and kind of a fun cool plaid pattern. I've never seen anything quite like it so I was interested in that. The size doesn't look like mine but I'm gonna pull it in the cart and try it on. Uh, now, as I'm thrifting through stores and filming for you guys, I do try to show at least one section where I just flip through and show you really quickly the variety of styles that are available because a lot of times I'm just pulling things that I personally am enjoying seeing, whether it's my style or I just think is interesting and would appeal to people who are into vintage in particular. But I also like to try to have a section where I just flip through really quick and show you the variety of styles. So if you were interested in checking out this thrift store, you would have like a tiny sense of what types of things might get donated there. And basically a little bit of an idea of how much vintage, modern pieces, uh, different types of styles. Although of course, everything is gonna vary from day to day because this place, as many thrift stores, runs entirely off of donations. Now let's take a look in the men's section. I'm really excited in particular to dig into t-shirts because once again, just can't get enough of really cool graphic tees. This one, I love the design. It is a GM licensed shirt, but it looks like it's a more modern one. Super fun, very cool graphic though. Also love this abstract graphic. I love a cool kind of art tee. And this one has some distressing to it that was really interesting to me. So this one had to go in the cart for me to try. Just a fun, cute Baltimore uh, souvenir t-shirt. Always fun to see stuff that's more close to home when you're thrifting away from home. Here's a Keith Urban tee. I was surprised to see a band t-shirt in here. I'm not personally into like pop country music, so it's not for me, but someone will be excited to find it do love Bob Ross though and I think this one is particularly hilarious I haven't seen that one exactly before this is a cool like truck stop t-shirt I love a good corny truck stop graphic and I'm looking at some of the button-ups just kind of grabbing ones that have neat patterns 
uh, things that I thought would make really good fall layers if you kind of wore it open over a shacket as it gets just a little bit cooler. That one is really nice. This one looks like it's a little bit older, like 90s or Y2K Grizzly Mountain brand. And we love a good hunting one with the deer all over it. Not personally because I love hunting, but because I love the wildlife and like nature graphics. Here's a really nice Dickies top, new with tags. That one could be really fun to style. And I'm taking a quick look at the hats here because I've been also kind of collecting these like trucker snapback hats. This one is actually from Stranger Things, but it kind of threw me for a loop. I thought it was real vintage at first. So nothing for me there. Now I'm actually gonna look over in the home goods section. They have some cool mid-century furniture. When I think of the Tri-Cities, Washington area, I always associate it with mid-century styles because that's when the area really kind of boomed and they built so many of the houses and housing developments there during uh, the 1950s and 60s with the Manhattan Project. In any case, I associate the two really strongly, so this to me would be the ideal place to pick up mid-century furniture. And you can see there's a lot of other cool little antique pieces in here. This store overall really feels like a mix of an antique store and a vintage store and a thrift boutique. It's really fun to shop. This is exactly why I love thrifting, exactly why I love thrift stores. It's a gilded toilet seat. Who doesn't need that? I love that this panda bear is eating honey. <laughs> doesn't really seem accurate. It's cute. And now let's play the coffee mug game. Just showing you some of the most interesting coffee mugs that I found. I'm gonna take a quick peek at the shoes and one last cool piece of furniture here. And then finally, we'll take a look at some of the accessories and handbags. They have a pretty fun selection. Again, a lot of different styles and eras to be found here. And then once we're done looking at that, we've seen most of the stores, so we'll jump into the fitting room.
Secret check. I love this store. I've been having so much fun looking at everything. It's like, it's so exciting going to a new to you place, I think. Uh, but they have a great selection. And as you saw, got a few things in my cart. I'm actually gonna pop into the fitting room and try a few of the pieces so we can see what I'm gonna walk out with today. Okay, look at all this fun stuff. Let's try it. <laughs> okay, first stop. This is probably like exactly how I would style this romper too. Maybe with cowboy boots instead of docks, but bolo tie, some colorful earrings. Looks like it originally had a belt, but I might get it. I think I could layer it over uh, tights and like a turtleneck in the fall or winter too. Oh, cute. This little uh, sleeveless button up strawberry print top. It's adorable. I don't know that it's like really my personal style. It's a pale yellow color that I don't wear a lot. So I'm gonna try one more layering piece though. Okay, this is a little denim jumper with butterfly print on it. <laughs> I think this is so cute together. It feels even less like my personal style, but with like docks and some cute accessories. Hmm. Love it. Okay, another like kind of jumper style dress with a gingham print. This one feels a bit too small on me, but great piece because you could style this year round. Like very summery, put a t-shirt, tights, layer up a sweater. Here you go, here's that little vintage sweater over it. Just wearing this as the skirt. And I love how this has a checker knit in it that like goes with the checkered gingham print. Cute. Okay, here's that printed graphic tee with the faux leather, like oxblood colored skirt. Love combining a cool graphic tee with a nicer skirt. I also wanna try dressing up this skirt a little bit too. This is a vintage silk blouse, really cute. I thought that doing like a tonal uh, palette with this, like a bright red with the oxblood red, I thought would be really interesting. An easy way to do color blocking in your outfits, I think. And the most dressed up sequins. <laughs> I mostly just really had to try this sequin top on. It's too cool. Uh, yeah really fun piece and I think actually pairing it with a leather is really nice a good mix of uh, textures all right here's my haul thank you for thrifting with me at this amazing thrift store I hope you enjoyed seeing everything as much as I did I will be back soon with another video Bye.